Hey, Fun Chief here again. Welcome to another Alliance Match training series lesson where fortune favors the prepared mind. Up next is lesson 15, consider friendly courses of action or COAs. And the idea here is to think through how you might position your forces on the battlefield to defeat the enemy's plan. So in the previous lesson, we talked about thinking through what the enemy is planning on doing and coming up with the most likely course of action. Now that you have an idea what the enemy might be planning for you, think about how you're going to array your forces um, across the battlefield and how you're going to uh, uh, lay in your build plans with the options that you have available. So in this particular case, um, you can see the, the choice that we made was this balance choice, but I had an EU strong side where I put a lot more artillery up in here, you know, two artillery and one artillery down in, in the in Africa. Or I did the reverse where I did a strong side Africa where I only put one artillery unit up here and two artillery units down here. Or a more balanced approach um, where I split them up a little differently and, and I thought through like where I'm going to position all these other units so that I had the ability to react a little bit more um, across the battlefield instead of have um, all of my artillery are, um, on one side versus the uh, another. So all I'm really trying to suggest is that you think through this, you look at different courses of action, you discuss that with your team, and you settle on something that uh, makes sense to you based on how you understand the enemy's positioning and what you think the most likely enemy course of action is. That's it, nothing more complex than that. Pretty straightforward. Um, I use a graphic to do this, just like I did with the enemy course of action. I use the military graphic symbols here, um, I just think they add a nice flavor to the organization. And since I'm, um, I'm a former retired military guy, you know, I just like these. And I've, I find that other people enjoy that as well. But you could use any kind of graphic system that you wanted to. And so with that, that concludes this lesson for the Alliance Match Training Series. Up, ne up next is Lesson 16, War Plan Graphic. And this is where you bring things together, where you're going to show not only what your build plan is and what the enemy courses of action is templated onto the map, but also what your war plan looks like and how you're going to execute a defense and an attack in the key terrain and so forth. So I'll see you in a moment with uh, lesson number 16, War Plan Graphic. Thank you.